Let's talk about classification quality metrics. After classifying documents, we can evaluate classification quality. Our main quality metrics are recall precision and false positive slash false negative results. So recall is the percentage of documents classified with correct classes within the whole amount of documents assigned reference classes. And precision is the percentage of documents that have been classified correctly within the whole set of documents that were classified and assigned a class. Let's discuss in more detail how precision and recall are measured. Imagine this is our document flow. The green cells are documents that were assigned reference class A and were correctly classified as A. And the red cells reveal that spam documents appeared in the document flow and must be left unknown. The second circle is classification results that we received. In the second circle, green cells mean documents were classified as A, and red cells mean documents that were not classified and stayed unknown. So we have true positive results. Documents have reference class A and result class A. We have false positive results documents didn't have reference class, in other words, they were unknown documents, and yet resulted in the assignment of class A. True negative results, documents didn't have a reference class, they were unknown documents or spam documents, and stayed unknown after classification. And false negatives, documents had the reference class assignment, but were not classified as A through classification and stayed unknown. Now we can see what precision is. The third circle shows us how precision is counted. We take into account the true positive results, that is, documents that had to be classified as A and were classified correctly, indicated in dark green. And false positive results, documents that needed to stay unknown but were classified as A. So the precision percentage of documents indicates those documents that correctly were classified as Class A relative to all the documents that were assigned the reference Class A. Now let's consider recall. The third circle shows us how recall is counted. We take into account true positive results. Those are the documents that had to be classified as A and were classified correctly, those indicated with dark green cells. And false negative results, the documents had to be classified as A, but stayed unknown. So recall shows the percentage of documents that were really labeled as Class A relative to the false negative results. And this illustration is for easier comparison of the meaning of recall and precision. We count precision from all the documents that received Class A. So of all documents that were labeled with class A, how many actually were assigned that class? And we count recall from all the documents that had to receive class A. So of all documents that were actually of class A, how many did we label? So precision and recall are always set in a balance. One affects the other. The higher the precision is specified, the lower the recall number is. And so you can see our GUI here where, by default, recall and precision are set at the middle, but you can set to high recall or high precision. High precision priority is used when a minimum number of misclassified or false positive results are to be allowed. In this case, unknown, otherwise known as false negative results, cost less. So if 90% of documents can be classified confidently, with 100% precision without false positive results, the remaining 10% of documents can be sorted manually. High recall priority means that as many classes as possible are assigned, even if there are a few false positive results. It's like casting a wide net. It is used when the case for having unknown results is high. In this scenario, as many documents as possible should be classified, and all documents go to the next verification step where false positives can be corrected and ensuring nothing is lost. 
So this inclusivity addresses the situation that one single missing loan document could result in the loan not being issued.